before we begin. Your rising sign horoscope will give you further clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope will show up for you, and your moon sign horoscope will present the less prominent side story that will also be occurring, usually closer to home. You can find any video you are looking for by checking out the playlist menu on my main channel page. Horoscopes serve best when viewed like a weather or traffic report. You have influence over the outcome of any occurrence with your thoughts, emotions, choices, and deeds. Use the information that presents to help you make the highest choices for the highest outcomes. And if you would like to schedule any of my services or leave a tip or donation, you can do so at my website, integrativemysticism.com, or follow the links in the down bar below. Hey there, Capricorn. It's time to have a look and see what this week's most prominent themes and energies influencing all areas of your life in one fashion or another are. And remember, all areas of your life in one fashion or another. So from the Syrian star seed tarot, you have the King of Swords or Master of Orbs. You have the Seven of Cups or Seven of Chalices, the Page of Cups or the Seeker of Chalices, and the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Crystals. And this week, you will catch the attention of an individual or maybe, you know, one or two helpful types that will actually be in a position to bridge a connection uh, that you can actually use to evolve a current pursuit in a very substantial way. And uh, what's coming through with this is like, it's almost as though they're actually able to help you turn something that maybe started off small, something modest into something not only much more substantial, but maybe even secure a bigger win a bigger payoff, or even clear some kind of impediment to such an eventuality. This week, however, is going to call for some discernment, okay? Because as many illusions uh, are going to be also presenting, and I feel like a lot of these are going to be quite tantalizing, quite seductive, right? They know what buttons to push to get you to feel you know, some butterflies, right? That lower ego, looking for the thrill, what have you. Um, but, you know, again, illusions nonetheless, false promises, and, you know, even false contacts, or maybe, let's just say, some duplicitous, inconsistent or insincere contacts will be made known. And you might also be spending some of this week actually cleaning up some messes that come from engagement with those types or engaging in those types of social uh, cultures, social contacts. Just remember that, again, what a person is hoping for or hoping to fake or hoping to make real is not the same thing as actually going out and doing it. All right, because there's, again, you're, you're kind of needing to pay attention to what a person is kind of throwing out there as a wouldn't it be nicety or maybe hoping that just kind of talking about it, putting it out there will have somebody else manifest it for them. This is a time for you to pay attention to where not everything really is as it seems. That's also because this would be a painful distraction against a lot of other really positive things going on. Uh, generous acts of support and affection will be given to you, okay? Uh, to open up your heart, friendships, and romances, new, and old are going to be deepening if you allow yourself to reciprocate openly and honestly. So now we're getting into some really sentimental, some really mushy stuff, but I definitely think that the, these kinds of generous acts of affection and support will, of course, be not only immediately helpful and, and of course, just simply loving for you, but these are actually signs of good things to come. But in order to accept, you are going to need to reciprocate because reciprocity is, you know, the way you are going to be accepting this, if this makes sense. Without reciprocity in kind, without equivalent exchange, it does not translate to acceptance. Okay, that's just what's coming through this card. There's also going to be a new, more viable and abundant living or working arrangement that is uh, going to present to you as many breakthroughs are going to demand it. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is something that is uh, happening as a result of a lot of things kind of shifting around you, 
or this is you kind of getting that lift. And we've been seeing a lot of this going on uh, with the Capricorn people, a lot of home and family front turns, a lot of, uh, yeah, living arrangement, working arrangement, environmental shifts, you know, environmental changes like that needing to actually happen to not only generate more value, but also to become a greater thing of value for you. Um, but this is something that I feel is actually being built for you. So, you know, before you walk into this week ready to accept or reject, look at what it is. I think it's going to be beautiful. But, you know, if, if it's not something that is coming into your space, it may be something that does require you to at least be able to spend some time there or give yourself a space where it is, however much you feel comfortable accepting. So that is what I've got for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And if y'all ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.